miss you so much. Hello, friends. Today I will tell you the story of recently released movie, The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Let me tell you first about the spoiler alert. If you want to experience it fresh, don't watch this video. But if you are okay with that before watching the movie, then continue to complete it. Movie starts with a planet named as Nowhere. This is the headquarter of all the Guardians, and we can see different Guardians wandering here and there in the Nowhere. We see Rocket Raccoon in his bedroom, while he was standing near the window as usual, Adam Warlock from another planet attacks him and throw him away, striking through the walls. Adam Warlock was here to capture the Rocket Raccoon and take him back to another planet. Seeing all the situation and attack of Adam Warlock, all the Guardians are alerted, and they start fighting against Adam Warlock. Adam was so powerful that no one was capable to stay before him and bear his attacks. He was hitting all one by one. Nabula gives a tough time to Warlock as she has been wearing new advance machines which made her stronger. But soon after a couple of hits, Warlock attacked back to Nebula and hit her badly down. Now all other Guardians also try to beat the Adam Warlock one by one. But Adam did not control by anyone. Meanwhile, during the fight, Rock pick his gun up to attack Adam Warlock, but Adam attacks him first, and by this unexpected attack, Rocket injured badly. He was so badly injured that did not get up again, and all the Guardians were trying to look after him and save him by any mean. Now Nebula gets up again and attacks Adam Warlock from behind with her hand turned into a lethal sword. Sword was passed near his chest and he was injured badly. He was so injured that left the nowhere and ran away without completing his task. Now Peter and his companions come near the rocket and tries to heal his wounds. To treat him, they attach a healing machine to his body. But when machine is activated, he starts writhing instead of being in a calmness. It seems like instead of healing, this machine was hurting him more. By seeing the situation, Nebula comes forward and detaches the machine. She says, let me scan and diagnose the problem first. After a scan, she reveals that there are too many machines in Rocket's body, and one of them is near his heart. So if we try to treat him without removing that heart-linked machine, maybe we lost him. This is too risky, and first we have to remove that machine for his full recovery. Lila. That's a pretty name, Lila. Now all Guardians were making plans to save the Rocket. Meanwhile, we see Rocket lying straight on a surgical bed lost in his childhood memories unconsciously. We come to know that in his childhood, he was a small raccoon baby, just like other animals. He was happy and playing with other raccoons in the cage, but High Revolutionary comes and pick him up. He started experiments on baby raccoon and turned him into a more intelligent raccoon. Fortunately, the experiment was successful, and the baby raccoon becomes very sharp, cunning, intelligent, and could understand things just like humans. High Revolutionary was very happy on his achievement. He starts testing brain of the rocket and shocked to see that his brain was quite sharp to anyone. He was satisfied now that Rocket has been successfully transformed into a desired animal. He puts Rocket back into another cage where there were different animals. Rocket becomes friend of them and starts playing with them happily. Meanwhile, we see Nebula successfully scan the rocket and reveals that where that machines were made, all says that if we go there where these machines were made, might be we successfully save Rocket. And the very next moment, Peter decides to move towards that planet which was named as Planet Orgoscore. They were making plan to go there along with a team and save Rocket's life. Peter leaves nowhere for Orgoscoper to save his friend Rocket. Now we see High Evolutionary. There were Adam Warlock and his mother facing Evolutionary. He was furious and throw away Adam Warlock and hold him up against the wall with his mighty force. His mother was begging for his life and committing that next time we both will go and bring Rocket back in any case. But please leave my son this time. High Evolutionary agrees by saying, if next time he failed, I will kill you all. Now we come to know that where there is Mr. Revolutionary, that was an entire planet like Earth, and so it was named as Counter-Earth. High Evolutionary was a psycho with a mind that every animal should be according to his perfection, so he picks up animals from different planets and experiment them to make them evolutionary, and up to the mark according to his standards. When he came to Earth, he liked it very much. That's why he had made the counter-Earth as much likely as Earth and Home's architecture and walking artificial humans in the streets were all like to the Earth planet. Someday, I'm gonna make great machines that fly. Rocket. 
On the other side, Peter and his team almost reached the planet Orgoscoper, but some people invade his ship. They were companions of the Gamora, one of my favorite Hollywood celebrity, the Sylvester Stallion, as Staker Ogord, was also there among them. Gamora tells that they are called by the Nebula on one condition that they will get prize money if they help to accomplish the mission. Now we see that rocket again lost in his memories. He was seeing when Evolutionary brought him in a new research chamber and told him that he was experimenting all animals and trying to make them more calm and evolutionary, but unfortunately, they were becoming more violent. Rocket analyses the chamber and asks Evolutionary to change a certain chemical. According to Rocket, that chemical were changing animals' neurotransmitters and making them violent. Evolutionary agrees and changes that chemical, and exactly gets the same results and the Rocket said. He was quite surprised and shocked how my own created creature can have more brain powers than me. By saying that he decides and orders to kill Rocket next morning along with all other animals in the cage and use Rocket's brain for further experiments to make desired animals for the future. At that night, Rocket in his cage tells other of his friends that Evolutionary will kill us for the sake of his fucking research. So, we should secretly plan an escape from here. His friends agrees and Rocket makes a key by getting some scrap inside and near the cage. They all get out of the cage, but meanwhile, Evolutionary reaches there. He says to Rocket that I knew you will run tonight. That's why I have kept an eye on you. So I will kill you as well as your friends now instead of the morning. Saying this, he shoots and Rocket's best friend saves Rocket and dies. This made Rocket angry and furious. He attacks Evolutionary and gets into a spaceship and flew away from the planet Counter-Earth, leaving Evolutionary behind in anger. On the other side, we see Guardians along with Gamora reaches planet Ergoscorp, and they gets the information file of Rocket there. After getting the file, they come back to their ship and open it. By opening the file, they were seeing all past of the Rocket. The treatment Evolutionary did to Rocket was miserable, and all were emotional and sad by knowing the cruelty of the Evolutionary that was happened with the Rocket. From the information file, they did not get the code to remove the device, as the code was deleted from the info file by the evolutionary team. Fortunately, the Guardians came to know that who had made that file, and who can tell about the code to remove the device. He was one of the core team member of the High Evolutionary. Peter decides to go there and capture that scientist to save Rocket's life. But it was too risky, so Gamora asks Peter not to go there. Peter refuses and say he will save Rocket at any cost. Gamora says that she will not go there along with him and send location to his crew member to rescue her from that location. But we see Adam Warlock and his mother has that person in custody, and they came to know the location. Now they will go there to get them back along with Rocket. Oh, Gamora, what have you did? Says Peter. On the other side, we see Guardians have reached to the planet Counter-Earth. Peter and his friends go to see the High Evolutionary. High says that you all have come here according to my plan, and now I will kill you all and get my subject rocket back. He asks one of his giant animal troop to go and get rocket from the Peter ship. After that, High Evolutionary goes into his ship and orders to destroy the planet when his ship took off. By seeing the situation of blasts and destruction, Peter and Groot starts fighting and killing the troops of High Evolutionary. Peter finds that man and jumps from the High Revolutionary ship along with that scientist. He brings him to his ship where he has secretly kept the rocket. Now Peter asks the scientist to treat the rocket. On the other side, guardians waiting outside the ship consider that Groot and Peter are still there in the High Revolutionary ship, so they three goes into the ship considering to save the Groot and Peter. Now the code has been inserted to stop that machine near the heart of the rocket and Peter also treat other wounds of the rocket. Finally, rocket comes back well and sound and Peter hugs Don't him happily. Nebula calls Peter to ask where you are. We are here in the high ship to rescue you. Peter says surprisingly, we are here in our ship along with Groot Rocket and Scientist and we have brought Rocket back. They were to escape from the ship, but high comes and get them in custody. During prison ship, they came to know that Revolutionary has kept many kinds of child and creatures in the jail to perform experiments. They decide that they will also free them if they got a chance. Now, Peter, along with Rocket Crude and Gamora, moves towards Evolutionary's ship to save the other Guardians. He also calls Nowhere to his friend to join him near the shared location which was the ship of the High Evolutionary. 
Next, we see Peter lands impressively to the evolutionary ship along with his team to save others. Now, evolutionary's creatures were before the Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, with their full potential and expertise, fights a long, effective fight with them and defeat them. High Evolutionary was also injured and captured. All asks Rocket to kill him, but he refuses and says he is not like him and will not kill him for the sake of personal grudge and revenge. Meanwhile, all other creatures and childs were also freed by other Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy decides to bring all those creatures and childs to the Nowhere. Nowhere was connected to the revolutionary ship by a mystical force of a dog who was Peter's friend. All were moving from ship to the Nowhere, but Dog's force ended and bridge breaks leaving only Peter behind on the evolutionary ship. Peter runs and jumps to reach Nowhere but fails and suspended in the space. He was dying in the space but Adam Warlock holds him and brings him to the Nowhere. Finally Peter was saved and all were happy at Nowhere. Peter and his team decides that they will go to any other planet and will make their own world, where there will be safety and happiness everywhere, and everyone will be free to do anything and become whatever he or she will have to be. Peter makes Rocket leader of the Guardian's team and asks to leave for some time to go back to Earth to see his grandfather, who might be waiting for him. Rocket makes a new team and Adam Warlock was also a member of that team now. Next, we see Peter was on Earth walking to his home alone. Reaching home, he meets his grandfather, who was very happy and surprised to see him back. On the planet Nowhere, we see Groot was dancing, and all other members along with other childs and creatures also starts dancing, and here this movie ends happily. Thank you friends for watching. Kindly like and subscribe to get more movie stories like this. Thank you. I'm done running.